This 25,000 square foot mega mansion is now home to Hornets rookie, LaMelo Ball. The mansion is truly a one-of-a-kind piece of luxury real estate. Bought by LaMelo for slightly over $10 million, his new home features 11 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, a massive indoor pool, and even comes with its own helicopter. The backyard features a resort-like spa area and a private beach spanning half the length of a football field. But before we give you an exclusive look inside LaMelo's new mega mansion, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new and enjoy the content. First off, the mansion is located in Jacksonville, North Carolina and was recently purchased by Mello back in January of 2021. He is expected to pay $107,000 per year in property taxes due to the home's location and value, which shouldn't be a problem considering he already has a net worth of $140 million at 19 years old. Now, let's begin at the entrance. Walking in, you've got 30 foot ceilings and are greeted with a grand double bridal staircase. And if you look up, you can see Mello's custom built diamond chandelier, which he reportedly paid $600,000 for. From the entrance, the home flows into a 300 person ballroom that includes floor to ceiling glass windows looking out at the North Atlantic Ocean. The mansion also has its own helipad so whether Mello wants to arrive home by car, water, or the sky, he can. And when you have a home of this caliber, I'd say it's good to have options on how you arrive. Moving on to the kitchen area, you can see just how spacious this place is. The kitchen is state-of-the-art featuring a bar, a wine refrigerator, double sub-zero sinks, and wolf stoves. The kitchen appliances alone cost Mello a light 100000 he also has an in-home chef the Hornets hired for him to help him eat healthier. The kitchen also has its own living room area with a huge flat screen TV and a wraparound patio outside. Going upstairs to the master bedroom, when you first walk in, you are greeted by an incredible view overlooking the Atlantic. And going outside to the bedroom balcony, you can see the entire outdoor spa area, which LaMelo titled Atlantis. The bedroom's bathroom is covered in expensive marble and features a massive steam shower that has 12 different sprays and built-in speakers for music. The bathroom also overlooks the 3,000 square foot indoor pool area, which has its own entertainment center and gym. When LaMelo first bought the house, this area was actually something completely different. After buying the mansion, Mello had this entire indoor pool area custom built. It is said that this area alone cost him an additional $1.2 million to build. But judging by the way it turned out, we'd say it was definitely worth the extra million. Now, after you get done swimming in the indoor pool, you can take the elevator down to the basement and watch your favorite movies in the theater, which has 12 stupidly expensive crocodile leather seats that sit on stadium seating so everyone in the theater can see the screen. Other than the theater, Mello's basement is mostly empty for now. But according to Yahoo Sports, Mello has plans of building an indoor bowling alley and a nightclub in his 8,000 square foot basement. Now, this isn't just any regular mansion though. Lamello's mansion is actually right next to his new boss, Michael Jordan, owner of the Charlotte Hornets. But people close to Mello said that Michael actually talked him into buying the mansion. He didn't want the young point guard throwing any crazy parties or doing anything stupid that could possibly ruin his promising NBA career. Which is why he wanted Mello to buy the neighboring mansion so he could keep a close eye on him. Lamello's $10 million mansion also includes an 8 car garage that stores his stacked $1 million car collection. Inside Lamello's car collection is a new 2021 Lamborghini truck that he bought a few months after being drafted. It is said that he dropped a whopping $350,000 on the new Lamborghini truck. Mello also went the extra mile and fully upgraded his Lamb truck with nitrous and a custom orange paint job. Mello has also been seen driving a brand new $450,000 Rolls Royce truck, which 
was a draft guy gift from his older brother Lonzo. His dad LeVar also gifted him a 2020 Lamborghini Huracan, which reportedly cost $250,000. Now, with all these expensive cars sitting in his garage, you'd think he'd buy some hefty security, right? But instead of getting a regular security team like most celebrities would, Mello went ahead and bought two Rottweilers to protect his massive estate. He reportedly paid a total of $10,000 for both his Rottweiler puppies. But perhaps the most interesting thing about this is that Mello actually bought both his Rottweilers a fully iced out diamond dog chain collar with their names engraved in the chains. It is said that each chain cost LaMelo $50,000, totaling $100,000 on just two dog chains. When asked why he decided to spend so much money on his dogs, he simply replied, I got my dogs some chains so that they could have some drip. I got my dog a chain so he can have some drip. But the spending didn't stop there. When you're 19 and worth $140 million, why not put your money where your mouth is? Literally. Mello celebrated getting drafted by the Hornets by purchasing himself a custom diamond grill from no other than Johnny Dang himself. The iced out grill reportedly cost Lamelo $500,000. When Mello was asked why he decided to spend so much money on the grill, he said, Once you get into the NBA, you're surrounded by a bunch of guys who already have all the most expensive stuff, and since I was a rookie, they kept trying to play me like I didn't have it. So I went out and bought the grill from Johnny to show them that I got heavy pockets too. Was that your first big purchase uh, with, with the NBA contract? Nah, I don't spend my NBA money. I'm smarter than that, man. Fans on Twitter slammed Melo, telling him to get his priorities straight and not blow his first paycheck on what can only be described as a stupid purchase. One fan wrote, Priorities, man. Shame that he hasn't learned from people like Delonte West yet. You see what happens to people who blow their money like that? they end up homeless. LaMelo clapped back at the fans saying he hasn't spent one cent of his NBA money yet, which I have to say is pretty hard to believe when you see what he bought next. His next purchase was so big, even ESPN had to cover it. Now, most professional athletes, after having a long and successful career, typically buy a share in a sports team. But ballers like LaMelo Ball are a little different because before Melo was even drafted into the NBA, he purchased the Australian NBL team, the Alara Hawks, for $10 million. And he didn't even purchase a small share of the team. No, Lamelo purchased the entire franchise at 18 years old. His manager, Jermaine Jackson, said that Lamelo loves the Illawarra fans, he loves the community, he loves how they opened their arms to him and made us feel like we were at home. When we started hearing about the issues that they were going through, we talked about it and decided, you know what, let's own the whole team. Jackson made it clear that Melo will be locked into his NBA career and fully focused on the game, but the right people will be hired to oversee everything and continue the future and longevity of the Hawks. If you had the kind of money LaMelo has, what would be the first thing you would buy? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel.